military sort of stuff there. All right, cool. So we've used all of our skill points. Some people have one skill point left, which we can't do anything with, so that's fine. But yeah, there we go. And then... So our loadout... Uh, we're an adept, which is fine for now, I guess. I still kind of might want to try swapping things up. I thought we did. I thought I did switch to like a... Like an adept or something. Or not an adept. Um... Sentinel or something like that. But I guess not. Biotic blink. Okay. Alright, cool. So that's done. Let's go ahead and actually like start doing stuff now. Ooh, Kingmaker? Yes, I've seen that. Totally forgot. It looks up my alley. It looks so much like Pillars. Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, I'll definitely gotta keep an eye on I think it just started the, the Kickstarter today. Sleeping Dragons? What is that mission? Uh, anyways, whatever. I guess we can look. T Sleeping Dragons. There appears to be a disturbance in hydrophonics. Investigate what happened there. Speak with the protesters. Eh, we're leaving the Nexus, man. I'm sorry, we're doing it. We're leaving. I didn't know that was a mission. I don't know when I got that, unless I got it from when, when we got back to the Tempest and I was reading the email. Uh, but yeah. So let's back out. Nexus is there. I thought I did some scanning here. Let's scan this thing. Um, activate scanner. I don't think that did anything. Everybody says, I feel like you'd really enjoy Pillars, but it's not very popular streamable game. Yeah, like, those types of games, like Pillars, um, what was the other one? Anomaly detected. What was the other one? Oh, Tyranny? Pillars of Eternity, Tyranny, maybe even Divinity Original Sin. Like, those types of games that have a lot of reading and stuff like that, those are not great for streaming. Um, if they, if they have voice, if like pretty much everything is voice acted, then maybe. Um, but even then, it's a lot of dialogue in those games, and I don't, I don't think those are those games would ever work out in uh, the streaming world. Um, but to play it off stream, yeah, I, it would probably be pretty fun. Asian is an extremely hot and volcanically active world. A thick carbon dioxide and a thane atmosphere covers an iron-rich surface with deposits of calcium. All right, let's scan this here. Deploying probe. Deploying probe. Something. What'd you find? Volcano? This volcano has recently erupted. Fajin's Unusual strong gravity means the lava flow is localized and may be valuable for study. Wait, do we actually get to land there? I guess we're gonna check this out. Oh, never mind. Okay. It's just scanning. Wow, okay. GG game, you got me. I thought we were actually gonna like go down there and see what's going on with the volcano oh well that's cool that makes scanning a lot easier then uh spends four hours in the nexus <laughs> tyranny yeah tyranny is another uh one of those games it came out a while ago it sounds it sounded really cool when they like were like when they had announced it at like I don't know, one of the, the gaming conventions a couple years ago. 
Uh, but it's another one of those games. Gong Zhen. Gong Zhen. Room. So the next priority mission that we have to do requires us to go to another planet that to start investigating more into the remnant vaults and stuff like that. So we'll probably be doing that today. Um, but I want to do a little bit of scanning here just to see. Uh, this one doesn't have an anomaly, so we can just back out of here. Because we never really have done, like stuff on the galaxy map yet other than just go from one place to the next so it might be kind of cool to see if we can discover new things also i guess because this pops up like it has a little exclamation mark that means we haven't been there yet i guess still kind of learning about this stuff here but yeah i haven't played tyranny yet waiting to upgrade but i saw the beginning it was so unique yeah that's that's another one of those games that's like not great for streaming, but probably amazing just to play on your own, on your own pace and your own time and all that stuff. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. That's what anomalies look like. They got like this white sort of light there. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Starship wreckage? Oh, man, this is cool. Whoa. Might look like it doesn't have a lot to the textures because we are we have it on set on medium, but... Yeah, that looks cool. The carotid is heavily damaged and adrift, but salvageable. That's actually a pretty amazing. Uh, a bunch of stuff there. Wow. <laughs> I could imagine this being like a 3D FTL. That would be kind of cool. A 3D FTL. All right, that's that. So far, I'm really liking the way they did the scanning in this game. I like the traveling from one thing to the next. It's not just some, like, stupid little spaceship that you can drive around in, in a cluster or system or whatever. It just automatically takes you there, autopilots. And the scanning's a lot simpler and quicker, too. The sort of the stuff you find is pretty interesting. That doesn't have anything. But we've scanned everything in the system. It's at 100%. So let's back it out. So we're, we have to go there. Uh, whatever that is. Onion? Um, There's a thing there. I don't know what's in the Pyfer system. What system had uh, Habitat 7? I guess we can't go there anymore? Maybe it was the Pyfer system. Um, I guess let's check here. Let's go check here and see what kind of stuff is in this area here. Probably not planets to go to. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Those blue things there. Um. But we'll scan it and see what's up. This is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected and I just got in the system. Usually the anomalies are these things here. Black hole? Yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> uh huh. Doesn't seem like a good choice. Maybe we do it for science? Wait, where's the anomaly at? Ah, okay. 
Deploying go there. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Ooh, asteroid. Let's go there. <clears throat> Boffin says, I like I like the design of the Mass Effect 3 Galaxy map. This is cool too though. Haven't seen enough of it to compare. Rebbington says, I really f like the flying from planet to planet. It corresponds to the big map too. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Haven't I've never played a game where like traveling from system to system or planet to planet, whatever you want to call it, I've never played a game that has this mechanic right here, and it's pretty cool. It really makes you feel like you're in a spaceship, makes you feel like you're really in space. Not this top-down view. Um, it's interesting, it's fresh. Aluminum deposits. Well, I need platinum to make something, so it sucks it's not it. Alright, we'll back it out. I think we might save that black hole for last. Let's go, uh, Corvith? Why is that named? Let's see. Eve Online has it. But that game is a whole other aminal. Aminal? Aminal? <laughs> Animal, jeez. Yeah, I've never played it. Nothing on this planet. Corvith. Thanks to Corvus' thin atmosphere, its brutally cold deserts can reach extremely high temperature in direct sunlight. Limit exploration to twilight hours only. Dun -dun. Oh, it doesn't tell you, like, the Earth hours anymore on the planets. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's go there. Robertons, since that time you streamed Final Fantasy XIV, we talked about Eve. I've been getting Eve ads everywhere. <laughs> oh no. How do they know? How do they know? Yeah. That's the game that we were talking about that people spend like thousands of dollars in that game. Like, it's serious business, that game. That's not a game. That's, like, serious business. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. It's probably, like, how that, um, that other space sim game, the one that's made, like, billions of dollars, and who knows when it's going to come out, that uh, Star Citizen game. That, whenever that game comes out, if it comes out, it'll probably be one of those serious business games. Do, 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 do. There's people that, that I know that, like, from stories that I've read, where people, like, spent, like, pledged, like, thousands of dollars just to get, like, some sort of, like, ship model in game that hasn't even been made yet. <laughs> it's like... Oh my god. People just throwing money at unfinished products and stuff. It's like... <sighs> sometimes it works and sometimes it's just like, what are you doing? Boffin says, the learning curve for that game is through the roof. You need, a de you need to dedicate a second life to it to be good at it. Oh my god. It becomes a job. That's insane. All right, so none of this stuff, uh, anything interesting. So we'll go here, and then we'll, I guess we'll check the black hole. I don't know, I mean, does that, do I get game over if I go there? Should probably save before we do it. But I gotta check the black hole for science. Because we're all scientists here, right? We'll check this, and then we'll, I guess we'll go ahead and start doing, um, priority mission. Um, check out that system. Nothing here. I wonder if, if like, we'll actually be able to, like, go to some of these plants or something will take place, uh, on some of these things. I don't know. Alright, let's save it. Let's go to the black hole for science. Here we go. God. 
God, what does this look like? There's an anomaly there. Wait, it's gone now. Whoa. That looks pretty cool. Class Kerr Black Hole. Even at this distance, the black hole presents a risk to onboard ship systems. The acceleration disk around it is composed of the remains of at least one solar system destroyed by the black hole's formation and gravitational pull. Caution is advised. I could have sworn I saw like a blinking thing here that could have been an anomaly or something. Damn. That's cool. Alright, well, this system is, or cluster is clear. Oh, that's, these are systems. We're in the Helios cluster, so there shouldn't be any reason to say cluster anymore. It's systems. So we have this system, and then the rest to explore there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go to the Onion system. This is where the, um, this is where our priority mission is. We'll be landing on a planet and exploring it. And hopefully it doesn't have radiation like the last planet we went to. Urgh. 